Well, the U.S. Department of Energy have announced the scientists have successfully produced the first ever nuclear fusion reaction, resulting in a net energy gain. CB24's Christina Tenalia joins us live with more on this story. Christina. Uh, bringing us even closer to what could be a new source of clear clean and clear energy, clean energy. Uh, th this is uh, much different than nuclear energy, specifically that powers power plants. This is called nuclear fusion. What powers power plants right now is nuclear fission. Uh, the difference, for example, is that nuclear fusion would be clean. Uh, it would eliminate the potential for things like radioactivity or a nuclear met meltdown, uh, specifically. Uh, here to talk more about this, Pekka Sinervo, a professor of physics at the University of Toronto. Uh, professor uh, Pekka, thank you so much for joining us. Ooh. Let's talk about why this is so significant and what it means for the future of clean energy. So fusion takes place within the sun. Uh, it's actually the thing that powers it. It's a burning of hydrogen into helium, uh, which releases energy. This is the first time we've been able to control fusion in a laboratory. Uh, we've actually created fusion before, but those actually have been bombs. And in this case, we now have a way of being able to create fusion in a laboratory where we can control it and uh, harness it for uh, creating energy. And how far away are we, Pekka, from this this type of clean energy to be able to power, let's say, power plants or a power grid? We're quite a ways away still. We're probably 20 years away, perhaps. It's hard to tell. Uh, there's a lot of engineering and now work that has to be done to scale up this creation of fusion to then a practical, realistic power plant. What does this mean for the environment and climate change? Is that something you can elaborate on, the, the impact of this clean energy? It could potentially be a game changer. First, it doesn't generate carbon dioxide, so we're not, we're not creating more the, uh, climate change. Uh, it doesn't have, produce the same type of radioactive waste, which uh, we're actually quite concerned about with nuclear fission reactors. The, so it really is a clean source of energy. And finally, the fuel is virtually limitless. You can, you can use seawater to actually power as, as a source of fuel for a fusion reactor. So it potentially is a game changer for how we actually live, how we actually treat our planet. And, and that's what it's being called today, a, a milestone, this announcement. So thank you for using that word, Pekka, game changer. Um, for, for people at home who are wondering what their, their future will look like in 10 to 20 years, I mean, we're not, well, more like 20 years, as you said, we're not anticipating this is going to, this kind of energy will power our cell phones. Uh, but on a much larger scale, uh, the power grid for a city, per se, well, what do you foresee? That would be the natural use for a fusion reactor, would be to replace, for example, uh, the nuclear fission reactor fleet that we currently use to power a good part of Ontario. That would be one example where we actually have these now large plants which generate clean energy. They uh, typically turned into electricity nowadays, um, and that's then used the, uh, for charging cell phones, for running electric vehicles, uh, for virtually anything that we would do. So. Uh, uh, the big, we would not see that difference in our home. We just see now have a source of it, electricity, which uh, really is now being generated in an environmentally safe uh, manner. Thank you so much, Pekka Sinavero, professor of physics at the University of Toronto. Thank you for joining us on this game-changing announcement today. You're welcome.